Tonight's game beat them for the second time ever. They've got some work to do. The Ducks went into halftime trailing one nothing against the Stanford Cardinal. A six minute goal from Lumi Kostmeyer. The difference in this one, Stanford 12 shots, four of them on net. Oregon just one shot, uh, about a 25 yarder from Zoe Hassenauer. But I think if you're Oregon right now, you're happy. Yeah, I definitely agree. Oregon's happy right now to just be trailing by one goal, Ryan, especially considering the fact that Stanford had 12 shots in that first half, you know, including three corner kicks in that last minute of the first half. And Oregon was really just trying to escape that first half without giving up another one, and they did that successfully. So as long as Oregon, keep it, can, as long as Oregon can keep the pressure up, and they'll have a chance in the second half because Stanford was looking a little bit lackadaisical, and they were had some mis they had some miscues in that first half. Oregon's been down one nothing a couple of times at halftime this season. Let's bring you back to the non-conference. Oregon down one nothing, headed into the intermission against San Francisco. That was a one one draw. Oregon down one nothing, headed into the intermission against Texas. That was a one one draw. Oregon's looking for the third strike. Trying to get another 1-1 one, one draw, potentially. Change that into a 2-1 win. A lot can happen in the second half. 45 minutes of soccer left to play here at Pat Bay Field. The Cardinal back on the pitch, ready and waiting. Oregon still in their huddle. The sides have flipped. Oregon will be attacking from my right to my left. Stanford from my left to my right. It is Ryan Campbell still in net for the Cardinal. She's wearing those powder blues with the Cardinal red lettering. The Stanford position players all wearing all white with red Cardinal lettering. On the pitch for Stanford. Wesley, along with Evans, Williams, Rubenstein, Lowentini, Doms, Kostmeyer, and then there's two other Cardinal on the pitch that I can't quite make out. Ducks now back on the pitch, wearing their green tops, green kits with yellow lettering. Leah Freeman back in net wearing all yellows with the black lettering and striping. Yeah, I'm looking forward to an action-packed second half. You know, that first half was pretty wild, to say the least, and I'm expecting a really big second half from Oregon, obviously trailing by one. They really just want to get that equalizer. They've had, they had, didn't have that many chances in that first half, but Stanford was keeping up the pressure for sure. Wild, about as wild as the one nothing halftime score could be as now Stanford, they quickly work it forward after they control the possession to start off the second half here in the 46th minute. It's going to be Evans working the back line for Stanford along with Rubenstein. As the field is flipped, they're now on the near side. Rubenstein, that right back for the Cardinal, working it forward to Leontini. Flip towards the middle of the pitch, it finds Evans. Excuse me, that is Wesley who it found. Now working it forward towards Williams in the attacking third on an aerial ball, but it is deflected towards Bell Raleigh, who left the pass wide of Trinity Morales, and Stanford will have it just on the edge of their attacking third. This is exactly what happened in the first half, is Stanford controlling possession right on the edge of their attacking third for the majority of that first period. Now it's the Cardinal on the far side working with it, trying to cross it towards the box, but it's deflected away by Ann Amparator on the far side. It was Abby Grubel who had the chance. It will now be a corner kick in the 47th minute for the Cardinal, one nothing Stanford the score. They're trying to change that. Grubel leaves the corner just shallow, and it is deflected right on the goal line, and Grubel will save it in play. Oregon thought it went out of bounds, and it ended up going out of bounds. A late whistle, one that I never caught, and it will be a goal kick from Freeman, who will leave it short to Soto. Leah Freeman 
trying to leave it forward, and she does, but it goes right to the foot of a Cardinal. Now it's Doms on the edge of the area. She slips, but is able to corral it and get it to Kostmeyer's feet. Five ducks swarming Kostmeyer as she has to get it away towards Williams on the edge of the area on the near side. Williams working against two ducks. Morales and Cortez there. Williams still dancing, changing directions, and will get it out towards the edge of the box, towards the top of the area, dribbling her way inside is Leontini, who will leave it to Williams once again. Now a chip on a cross is too strong. It goes over everyone's head and a sprint out to the corner that is won by Grubel for the loose ball. Now it's Stanford still attacking from just outside of the box as it finds its way to the near side, Rubenstein, a chip just outside of the six yard box is headed away by Barbieri and it will settle at the feet once again of Leontini who this time will try to chip it forward. She was looking for a Cardinal on a run but no one went on a run. Leah Freeman easily there to scoop it up. 48th minute, one nothing, Ducks trail. Leah Freeman will leave a line drive kick right to the foot of a Cardinal in the back line, working forward is Ike. Now it's Williams just on the edge of the area. She approaches the box. She tries to leave one to Doms, who was making a run through the center of the area. But in the way was Soto to deflect it away, and it will be another Stanford corner. Yeah, it's going to be Stanford's sixth corner of the night, Ryan. You know, Oregon's only had, uh, they haven't had any corners tonight actually, so that's an interesting stat, but yeah, they've had lots of chances. The cross into the box, Leah Freeman elevates above everyone and she's able to snag it out of the air. Freeman leaves it shallow to Amparator and she gets it off to Hassenauer, who's now making a run down the far side of the pitch, a long ball towards rest pass that just catches the head of a Cardinal defender. Oregon was on the counter attack and Stanford Due to the vertical ability in the back line, was able to stifle the attempt. It was Pagador who was able to levitate and just get the top of her head on that ball. Yeah, Stanford's back line has been resilient all night long. They haven't given up anything. It was great vision from Hassan. Our rest pass was behind the defense. Now Stanford trying to do the same. A long aerial through ball towards Doms that is headed away by Anna Phillips. But it's Kostmeyer who's able to corral the loose ball. A long shot out, and Freeman has to go down for it. The stretch by Leah Freeman on the carpet, and it looks like she's shaken up down in the six-yard box. A whistle blown, and you hope for Oregon's sake that that's just cramping from Leah Freeman. Freeman trying to walk it off. She's able to stand up, which is a great sign. And it looks like she is going to gingerly continue to walk it off. That shows all the signs of cramping. Freeman leaves the goal kick towards Trini Morales inside of the center circle. Liche Barbieri gets it off to Cortez. Now it's Morales once again who has it inside of that O logo. Barbieri over to Hassenauer, still just at the halfway line, but it's Hassenauer changing direction, and it's Emperator right on the edge of the attacking third. Emperator makes a nice turn, finds some room, and she gets it off to Elmore, but it's just too strong. Yeah, good idea from Emperator. Too hard of a pass. She was unable to control at that time. Throw in for Stanford on the far side in the defensive third, 51st minute. Back line for Stanford working it around. And it will find its way into the center of the pitch with Leontini who will try to work it forward to the near side with Doms and does. Doms tries to chip it forward to Kostmeyer but it's Soto who wins the foot race to clear it out of bounds. Williams for Stanford a little bit ginger. It looks like she might be suffering some of the same fatigue as Leah Freeman is. The throw in from Stanford goes just towards the edge of the area. About five yards out of the goal line, it's Kostmeyer who dribbles through traffic and will work its way back to the back line for the Cardinal. Wesley dribbling forward. We'll get it out to Pagador on that far side. Working one-on-one -on -one with Hassenauer, she leaves it off for Doms. Doms on the edge of the area, fakes once, now takes a shot that goes way wide and way high. 
Yeah, over the fence. So, Not sure if we're getting that one back. Yeah, we'll see about that. Another shot there from Doms, though. She's had plenty of shots tonight and, you know, obviously hasn't scored yet, but she's one of Stanford's best players. 52nd minute, Ducks trail by one. Leah Freeman on the goal kick. Freeman leaving it towards the far side. Emperator is there, but it's headed away from her towards the feet of Hassenauer, and that's where it will settle. Zoe Hassenauer to the wide side of the field finds Cortez. She has to get past one, but she can't. Rubenstein gets in the way of the touch and intercepts it for Stanford, who will control their possession. Now they slowly work their way forward as it's left off to the near side. Williams on a long run, and she's all alone, but it's Bell Raleigh who's able to catch up to her. Williams still dribbling, tries to leave it towards the top of the box, but it's deflected away by the Ducks, and Oregon's able to head it away. Here comes Lexi Romero on a counter, and she thinks that she wants to leave it back to Cortez, but it's intercepted by Williams, who takes the shot, deflected down by Raleigh, and Cortez will clear it out. That was a poor decision by Romero there, and Stanford's still threatening. The only issue is really that Oregon doesn't have much going offensively for them. So when Romero was looking forward, forward trying to get something going offensively, obviously it was just quickly taken away. Williams out to the near side. It's Rubenstein with a chip and a cross towards the six-yard box, and Leah Freeman goes up for it and skies above Maya Doms. And that's a pretty significant height difference. Maya Dom's five foot six, Leah Freeman five foot ten, and Freeman can use her hands. The goal kick from Freeman goes to the attacking side of the halfway line, and it will settle at the feet feet of Stanford there. As now dribbling forward are the Cardinal flipping the field to the near side, Rubenstein dribbling forward into the attacking third, working against Trini Morales, gets it out to Williams. Williams and Cortez going one-on-one -on -one just outside of the area. Williams slowly drifting her way towards the box. She will leave it out towards Leontini. Leontini with a shot that Leah Freeman doesn't have to look at. Well wide, 54th minute, missed opportunity from the Cardinals, still 1-0. Yeah, she didn't have enough juice behind that shot, just wide left. Cortez has it after a short goal kick. She will try to leave it forward to Romero, who is... Bodied off of the ball, but it last touched the feet of Romero and went out of bounds. It will be a throw in for the Cardinal. Stanford working with the back line after the throw in. In the center of the pitch. Finds its way to the far side. And here comes Stanford on the attack once again. On the far side, at the top of the box. Here come the Cardinal. Leaves it off to Williams. Williams fakes once. Now at the top of the area, it's Ike, who will try to get it to the near side. Rubenstein, just outside of the box, a cross that is deflected away by Soto, but right to Ike, who couldn't put it on target. Yeah, hard shot from Ike on that follow there, just wide right. That one actually almost went over the fence again. That was just wide right. You know, I think that Stanford's had a lot of chances recently, but they haven't really been on target. 56th minute, one nothing. Stanford in front. Leah Freeman will try to shoot it forward towards Emperor, who was bodied off of the ball. The physical battle was lost. It's headed out of bounds by the Cardinal. That was Pagador who was the one to head it away. And Emperor to throw it in from the far side. The throw-in will go in the Ducks' favor. Zoe Hassenauer has it right around the halfway line. She leaves it off to Trini Morales, and now it's Kess Elmore trying to carve through some space. She does. Gets it off to Romero inside of the attacking third. Back to Elmore. Here's an opportunity for the Ducks. She tries to shoot it forward towards Trini Morales, and it was behind her. Yeah, Oregon had something going offensively for them, but they haven't really found their rhythm offensively. They just don't really have that many players up right now, so there's not many chances for them. Stanford able to take it away, but they'll give it right back to the Ducks as Soto is able to intercept a through ball. But it will go right back to the Cardinal once again as the target was misidentified. 
57th minute, one nothing Ducks trail. Stanford on the far side, trying to shoot it forward. Kostmeyer looking for a long through ball, but it's Soto who's able to get in there and get it away. Croy Soto is looking for a foul. She got a foul. Kostmeyer, the one who's called for it. In the defensive third, it will be an Oregon free. Soto will take it. She'll leave it off short to Anna Phillips. Puts it on the carpet towards Hassenauer right at the halfway line who will get it to Alice Barbieri trying to flip the field to the near side and does with Bell Raleigh in the back line. She'll try to leave it forward to Barbieri. Instead, it's Morales who takes it. Now she leaves it off to Anna Phillips in the back line. Phillips working her way up the far sideline to Amparata. It was a good idea, but just too strong. Out of bounds, Stanford throwing. 58th minute, Cardinal lead by one. Stanford has it on the far side with the back line after the throw-in. And they will try to leave it forward to Kostmeyer, but it's Phillips who gets in the way of it. Now the Ducks have an opportunity. Alice Barbieri tries to chip it forward to Elmore, and Cass Elmore gave up on it as it was too strong. 58th minute, one nothing the score, Stanford in front. Another sub here for the Ducks, get some fresh legs. Caitlin McCulloch coming in for Trinity Morales. We saw McCulloch in the first half. The freshmen in the midfield have swapped back and forth all season. Trinity Morales has done a stellar job. She's had two goals, including one in the last game for Oregon, which was a 1-1 tie against Washington State. Oregon need at least one goal to hope for a similar result here at home. 59th minute, Stanford working it with their back line once again as it's Rubenstein who will leave it off to Evans and Wesley. Wesley to Pagador on the far side. Now it's Ike who's dribbling her way forward as Stanford finds some room in the midfield. Now it's Doms in the attacking third, right on the edge of the area. Changes direction towards the top of the box. Puts it on the carpet and a sprawling dive by Leah Freeman to protect that bottom right corner. Yeah, outstanding save from Freeman there. Once again, Doms outside of the box, just on the left side of the outside box, where she loves to shoot the most. She's had three chances tonight. N none of them have been successful, but Stanford have had plenty of opportunities. But Freeman has held their own and done a great job defensively for Oregon. 60th minute, two-thirds of the way through this contest. Stanford leads one to nothing. The goal kick from Freeman is settles at the feet of Ike for Stanford, who's quickly sprinting towards the attacking third. Now she'll leave it off to the far side. It's the Cardinal who have it with Kostmeyer just on the edge of the area. Back to Ike. Now gets it to Pagador on that far side. Outside of the box. Working one-on-one -on -one with Emperor. Across towards the area. McCulloch heads it away, but right to the foot of a Cardinal. Still on the edge of the box. A shot right into the chest of Freeman, but it's deflected off her hands. And it's Soto who's able to clear it. Emperor finally is able to get it fully out of there as she kicks it off of a Cardinal defender. And it will go out of the goal line for a Ducks goal kick. Yeah, another great save from Freeman. A storming left-footed shot there from Stanford in the box in a lethal position, but Freeman was having none of it. Great save from her. Dangerous as a shot that went right into the chest of Freeman leaked out of her gloves, and it was a second opportunity for Stanford. Now the goal kick goes short to Soto, who will leave it off to Elmore. Elmore back to Anna Phillips. Passing it back and forth between themselves. Now it's Zoe Hassenauer in the middle of the pitch. Bodied off the ball by Ike. And now it's Ike going the other way. She's been tremendous for Stanford. Leaves it off inside of the box. Changing direction once. And it goes off of the chest of Anna Phillips. And now it's Doms from the edge of the area. Takes a shot. It's wide. Outside of the near post, and it will be another goal kick coming up for Oregon. It looked like there was a chance that the ball that deflected off of Anna Phillips was a handball. It's a goal kick that was left short for Soto. She just let it go, and it forced Anna Phillips to get creative to clear it away for a Stanford throw-in from the far side inside of their attacking third. Yeah, it did look like a handball, Ryan. It's an interesting 
you know, play there because earlier in the game when, you know, Stanford did score, it did look like a handball there too. So it looked like a handball there too. So, you know, lots of interesting things have happened in this game. The throw in for Stanford does not go as planned for the Cardinals. Now Oregon takes possession and is starting to go the other way. McCulloch and Cortez going with the one twos as she leaves it off to Alice Barbieri. Now on the far side, it's Emperor just on the attacking side of the halfway line. Back to Barbieri. Long through ball to Romero. Lexi Romero, if she can get to it, is all alone with the keeper, but it's just too strong. Second time Ryan Campbell's had to work today. That one won't be credited as a save, but got her mitts on it. Yeah, good idea from Oregon offensively. Romero wasn't able to get a touch on it because it was just too hard of a pass. 63rd minute, one nothing Stanford. And the Cardinal are trying to work their way forward once again. They got aggressive with the pass, and Oregon was able to get in the way. Here come the Ducks. They seem like they are in a much more attacking mindset now here in the 63rd minute as Caitlin McCulloch is bodied over. And now here's Ike going the other way. No foul called. Doms right on the edge of the attacking third, working with Bell Raleigh. She'll get it out to Williams on the near side, just outside of the area. Cortez one-on-one -on -one with her. Williams takes a step inside, tries to take a shot, and it's deflected away by Raleigh, and a long carom goes out of bounds for a throw in deep in the attacking third for the Cardinal. Yeah, in the first 17 minutes of this uh, second half, Ryan, Stanford has had nine shots, so they've had lots of opportunities, but unable to score in this half so far. Oregon's still staying in it. Rubenstein and Leontini passing it back and forth. It finds its way back to Wesley, who will get it to the far side. Pagador working against Hassenauer. She'll leave it off to that far side. Ike has it just on the edge of the box. Makes a nice spin move turn. Now at the top of the area, leaves it off to Williams just outside of that D. Now she leaves to the right side, and she tries to take a shot. Couldn't get a good foot on it. And it is deflected out of bounds, last touch by a duck, and it will be a corner kick for Stanford. And to go to your shots point, 22 shots for the Cardinal in this game. Oregon has one. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. Big differential there, obviously. Oregon hasn't had much going offensively for them, but Stanford has been keeping the pressure up, and they've had plenty of chances, you know, but Freeman's done a great job to keep this deficit down to one, Ryan. Corner kick coming up for the Cardinal. Gruber will take it. She leaves it towards the edge of the 18-yard box. It's headed out towards the back post and deflected out of bounds. Last touch by a Cardinal. It was Rubenstein who tried to put a prayer on net, and she missed the net by a wide margin. Yeah, Rubenstein's really sore to that one. You know, second ball, it's gone over the fence tonight. <laughs> Leah Freeman will work it with Bell Raleigh, who will try to leave it forward, and it will go off of the head of Leontini. Leontini, dancing, gets it to the near side as it finds Rubenstein's feet. Now Leontini back to Doms on the edge of the area, tries to touch it past Bell Raleigh, but it's Raleigh who's going the other way. Raleigh with some fancy footwork. Tries to get it forward to Romero, but it's behind Lexi Romero, and now here come the Cardinals going the other way with Ike. Williams has it after Ike left it off to her. Now Leontini spins and will get it back inside of the center of the O logo as Stanford flips the field to the far side. Now they're working their way back forward. Here come the Cardinal. Left off to Grubel, who tried to touch it to her teammate, who was taken down by a duck, and it will be a foul against Oregon. That looked like it was Catherine Paulson who was the intended target, but instead she was taken down, and now it's going to be about a 30-yard free kick coming up for the Cardinal. Yeah, set piece in a dangerous position here for the Cardinal, as Oregon's going to have to really step up defensively. Stanford's had plenty of chances, but Freeman's held her own. Grubel and Ike out there to take the free kick. Sixty sixth minute. One nothing Cardinal. Grubel runs over it. Here comes Ike. She will leave it on net right at the feet of Leah Freeman, who easily goes down to get it. Another save for Freeman. That's her seventh. Excuse me, her sixth. 
Her sixth no, save. No, seventh. It just uh, updated. Yeah, you're right. Seventh save. Yeah. Why don't you look at that? Seventh save. Good stuff. Leah Freeman leaves the goal kick forward, and it finds the feet of Kess Elmore, and now Elmore's on a run. Stanford couldn't handle it, and Kess Elmore, trying to go through the entire Cardinal team, puts a shot just under the crossbar, but into the gloves of Ryan Campbell. Really good effort there from Elmore. Top left corner, couldn't ask for better placement on that one, Ryan. Just a great save from Campbell. And I think that there's a very strong argument to be made that the two goalkeepers you see here are the two best goalkeepers in the conference. Campbell hasn't been tested as much, but she has proven it on the opportunities that she's had. And quickly, Stanford trying to counter after a strong goal kick, but Croy Soto able to maneuver her way through a bunch of Cardinal to take it away. Pure resilience there from Soto there. She didn't give up on the play. Good determination from her. Oregon with some nice passing as well to keep the ball away from Stanford as Soto works her way around the near sideline and gets past Doms. Now she's trying to sprint past Leontini and Leontini gets it out of bounds and it will be a throw in for Oregon on their attacking side of the halfway line. Yeah, and that's hyping up the crowd here as uh, they're loving it from Soto. Good energy from her and Oregon. Speaking of energy, Oregon's making some more subs here, Ryan, to have some more energy off the bench. Chai Cortez going to go to the bench. So will Kess Elmore. Caitlin Pacoba coming in as well as Megan Rucker. Rucker will throw it in. She will get it short to Romero. Caitlin Shaw also on the pitch for the Ducks now. Shaw will leave it off towards Bell Raleigh. And Raleigh will leave it forward towards Emperor. Off to Hassenauer. Good on push. the edge of the attacking third. Off to McCulloch. And Kaitlyn McCulloch will reset with Rucker in the back line. Rucker working one-on-one -on -one with Williams. Tries to get it to McCulloch. And she's bodied off the ball by Doms. Now Doms out in front. Working against Shaw. Leaves it off to the near side. Grubel. One-on-one -on -one with Raleigh. Raleigh with a nice challenge. Takes it away from Grubel. Bell Raleigh. Off to Hassenauer. Hassenauer flipping the field to the wide side on the far side with Emperor, and then Emperor has room to run down there. Emperor on the counterattack inside of the attacking third. Chips it off to Hassenauer at the top of the pitch. Top of the area is Hassenauer after she was body off the ball for a second, got it back. Back to Emperor on the edge of the area. Cross towards the box, deflected away by the Cardinal, and it looks like it'll be a corner for the Ducks. First corner kick of the night here for the Ducks, Ryan, and it couldn't have come at a better time for them. Only about 21 minutes left in this game. They're trying to get something going offensively. Big chance here for them. And a relatively full Pape Field crowd. Given something to cheer about. Rucker will go out to take it on the far side. 70th minute, Ducks trail 1-0. A prime opportunity for Oregon, their first corner of the game. The corner from Rucker goes towards the near post and it is headed away right towards Caitlin Shaw who's able to deflect it out back towards Rucker. Rucker over to Shaw, can she get to it? Yes she can, handball call, or actually offsides Offside, call. Yeah. It I thought for a second the whistle was on a handball on Stanford, but instead it was Shaw who was behind the defense. Yeah, first offside call of the night for Oregon. Big chance for the Ducks, just unable to capitalize. 71st minute, Oregon trails by one, one nothing the score. On the far side, it's the Cardinal with it. They're working it up the pitch as Doms leaves it off to that far side with Paulson, who gets it forward. Now dribbling against Phillips, gets to the goal line and tries to leave a pass to Williams across. That was Grubel who was trying to leave that pass, a dangerous pass. Luckily for her, it was deflected by Oregon and out of the goal line for a Stanford corner. Jasmine Ike will take a seat. And it will be Sierra Ang who comes in for her. Grubel will take the corner. Emperor heads it away and clears it. Angie the one who deflects it out towards the edge of the area. Now it's crossed back into the box, headed away once again. This time it was Rucker, I believe, who got a head on it. Still Stanford has it. Nine women dressed outside of the box for the Cardinal and a chip towards the net by Stanford is corralled by Leah Freeman 
as she'll leave it short to Rucker. Rucker and Raleigh passing it back and forth. Bell Raleigh trying to dance. Hounded by two Cardinal, now out in front of Stanford, and it is just wide the shot by Grubel. Wow. One on one with the keeper. Yeah, Grubel's going to want to have that one back. Point blank range, one on one with Freeman. Unable to capitalize. Big missed opportunity there. Big for mistake Stanford. by Oregon to get yeah. in that situation. 72nd minute, 1 0 Cardinal in front. Bell Raleigh tries to chip it forward, and it finds its way to the feet of McCulloch. McCulloch. Dancing, leaves it off to Romero, trying to flip the field to Hassenauer and does. Zoe Hassenauer has some room. Now she's got to stop inside of that O circle. She gets it off to Amparotter in the attacking third. Amparotter with a heck of a run, but there was no one there. She tried to cross it into the box, and it will slowly drift out towards the corner for a throw in for Stanford deep in their defensive third. Oregon can still press here to have an opportunity, and that's exactly what they do as the Kick is cleared away. Stanford can't get it. McCulloch got a feet on it, got her feet on it, but she ended up walking over the ball and tripped. Now it's Doms who will walk away with the loose ball. 73rd minute, Ducks trail 1-0. Let's go, keep In the back line for Stanford. Finds its way up towards Leontini, who will reset once again with the back line, Elise Evans. Towards the near side with Rubenstein. Now it finds its way to Doms on the attacking side of the halfway line who will flip the field to the far side. Pagador, the one who is sprinting her way up inside of the attacking third. Now Pagador. Leaving it off to that wide side. Amparata with a strong challenge to body the Cardinal off the ball. Now a slide tackle by Amparata as the ball trickles its way out towards the edge of the box. And it looks like a foul against the Cardinal. Wow, yeah, that was a very interesting play. Hard slide tackle. Oregon has a free kick now. Anna Amparata has been energetic. I, That's for sure. Anna Amparata, to me, from what I've seen at Pape Field this season, She's the most impressive duck to me this year. She has been so impressive, and especially as someone coming into the year that there weren't as many expectations on her as a lot of these veterans, like a Zoe Hassenauer or a Croy Soto or a Chai Cortez. But Anna Amparata has been every bit of stellar. Yeah, Amparata, the 5'3 freshman from Elk Grove, California. Yeah, she's definitely been energetic and ever since the initial kickoff, you know, she really just brought the intensity and she's just playing at it, playing great and at a high level for sure. Oregon controlling the possession. They have it inside of the attacking third as Hassenauer leaves it off to Bacoba. A nice move to get around a defender. Bacoba just outside of the area. She'll leave it on the carpet. It will find its way to Rucker, trying to pass it back to Shaw and she will have to revert her Pass over to Hassenhauer, who tries to get it to Romero, who is behind the defense and offside. 75th minute opportunity for the Ducks. They couldn't capitalize. Stanford in front, one nothing. On the near side, Stanford will have the goal kick that was left short. Actually, wasn't a goal kick, but still, left short after the offside. Now it's going to be the Cardinal who will try to leave it forward. And it is Soto who's there to try to stifle the attack as Oregon was looking to go the other direction, but the loose ball finds the foot of Angie. Now the Cardinal working their way inside the attacking third on the far side, and Maya Doms runs through an Oregon defender. It looks like Anna Phillips was one who got barreled through. No foul called. It's been a physical game thus far. And I like I liked that call. I like that no call. I know that Oregon fans might not, but it's been a physical game. Those are two players that were going after the header themselves, trickled out of bounds, and it will be a stand for throwing. A lot of substitutions for the Docs. We will try to get all of them, but it's a plethora. As Stanford throws it in there inside of the box. Now they leave it out to the top of the area. Here's an opportunity for the Cardinal. Dancing, Angie chips it over the crossbar and out of bounds. And it looks like it last touch a duck. It'll be a corner kick. The substitutions, Caitlin Pakova, Caitlin McCulloch, Megan Rucker, 
and Caitlin Shaw all check out. Aliche Barbieri, Chai Cortez, Ajene Respass, and Kess Elmore all come in for Oregon. Maya Doms comes out for Jasmine Ike for Stanford. Now here's a corner from the Cardinal. The corner will be taken by Grubel. She leaves it towards the far post. It's headed away by the Ducks, but not cleared out completely as Angie deflected it towards the net, and Freeman was able to corral it. The Ducks trying to move quickly as Zoe Hassenauer changes direction with a nice turn, and she finds some room for Alice Barbieri, who's looking for a run with Cortez, but it's not strong enough, as now it's Lexi Romero who corrals the loose ball. It was a nice idea by Barbieri, she just didn't have enough strength on that pass, as it finds its way back to Barbieri inside of the center circle. She'll leave it off towards the far side, towards Kess Elmore, and Elmore is there to corral it in the attacking third. Elmore at the top of the area, dancing around Cardinals. She gets it off to Hassenauer. Now she'll leave it off to Barbieri as the attack is slightly stifled by the Stanford Cardinal as it is a attempted pass towards Emperor, but there was no one there. Actually, I think the pass was attempted towards Elmore. Emperor tried to save it on a run, but she had no chance at it. Yeah, big chance there for Oregon, unable to capitalize once again. Here come the Cardinal going the other way. Oregon playing much more aggressive in their defense, and it pays off as Bell Raleigh takes it away from Williams. Raleigh tries to pass it forward, but she gets it right to the foot of a Stanford Cardinal. It's Leontini going the other way. Leontini in the attacking third. She'll get it out to the far side. Here comes Stanford with an opportunity. It's Paulson going one-on-one -on -one with Emperor. Inside of the 18-yard box, about 12 yards out, she shifted towards the net, and Leah Freeman with glue on her hands. 79th minute, one nothing Oregon trails. The Ducks have had a lot more opportunities in this half as now the goal kick goes way deep and this time Ajene Respass is going to press. It forces Ryan Campbell to get it away quickly and it will go out of bounds for a Duck throw in on the far side right on the edge of the attacking third. Yeah, Campbell cleared that one very quickly as Oregon's going to have a big chance here with the throw in but some substitutions first. Graham Abel has the ball in his hands. He's not allowed to throw it in. He doesn't have any el eligibility left. He'll leave it off to one of his players. Anna Phillips will be the one to throw it in. Phillips leaves it deep towards Ajene Rest Pass. It's touched off to Elmore as now it is Cortez who can't get to it. Has now is pointing towards Cortez to go get it. She didn't, but now Barbieri has the loose ball. Tries to leave it forward to Ajene Rest Pass and does. Inside of the box. Rest Pass taps it off of the foot of Kennedy Wesley and it goes out of bounds. It'll be a duck corner in the 80th minute. Duck corner coming up here and that's only their second of the night, Ryan. Big chance here for the Ducks though. Aliche Barbieri will go out to take it for Oregon. One nothing Cardinal lead. Barbieri leaves it towards the Edge of the six yard box, about 12 yards out is where it lands and it is deflected out by Stanford. Bell Raleigh has it, tries to leave it forward, but it's deflected away by the Cardinal and Chai Cortez with a strong challenge to prevent Stanford from going the other way. Str and the Boo Birds are out at Pape Field. Yeah, strong challenge for sure. I did not see an extension of the arm there. Interesting call, but definitely, you know, it would have been a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper anyway, so strategical foul, if you will. And now Stanford with an opportunity as Williams gets behind the defense. Bell Raleigh trying to recover as Williams tries to put it on net. Freeman able to save it, and she jumps on it. What a save from Freeman, Ryan. She's been there all night long. I mean, wow. she, she's the real MVP. Wow. That's all you can say. What wow. a save by Leah Freeman. Went full yeah. extension. It trickled outside of her gloves, and then she pounced on it like a cat. And Williams is banged up as she was the one who took the shot. Bell Raleigh was there, and she was trying to recover from behind. And it looks like Williams is a little bit shaken up. But it looks like she's trying to jog it off and stay on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. I mean, Freeman has been amazing Ooh. all night long for Ooh. Oregon. For Oregon. The eighth save might have been her best. And there have been a lot of good saves today. Freeman will leave it short. Cortez trying to work it down the near sideline, but it's only Stanford who's there. It's Rubenstein who tries to get it forward. 
and it is intercepted by Soto. Here comes Oregon. Rucker on the far side. Megan Rucker trying to find some room, trying to get it over to that far, far side on the sideline towards Elmore, and she can't. It's tipped away by Stanford, throwing coming up for the Ducks. Rucker throws it in towards rest pass, and it will settle at the feet of Rucker after a few deflections from Cardinal. Now it's going to be Oregon who has it in the back line. Bell Raleigh working away up the near side. Tries to chip it forward to Cortez and does. Chai Cortez dribbling forward. Gets it to Zoe Hasenauer in the attacking third. Hasenauer makes the turn. Tries to get it to Romero. Actually, it was Pacobo she tried to get it to, but it was intercepted by the Cardinal. Elise Evans able to get in the way of it. As now it's... Romero who takes advantage of a ball that Stanford thought was going out of bounds. Never went but out. Zoe Hassenauer left the pass, go right past her. Sloppy play from both teams as now it's Williams working away forward. She'll leave it off to Kostmeyer, give and go back to Williams as she was trying to get it off to Kostmeyer once again. It was one too many passes as Soto was able to clear it away. Now it's Hassenauer who was trying to pass it over to Bacoba, but it was tipped away. Now Bell Raleigh to get the loose ball. Ball just sitting right around the edge of the attacking third for Stanford, and that's where the Cardinal will have it with Enge with Angji. Excuse me. Now on the edge of the area, it's going to be Stanford crossed towards the box, and Raleigh is able to clear it. Now it's Stanford once again slowing things down. They will work it with the back line. Rubenstein will get it back towards Wesley. Now on the far side it finds Pagador who will work it into the middle of the pitch. Stanford has it. Trying to get it forward to Williams and does. A sliding attempt to put it on net. Ended up going off of the side of the net and out of bounds. There'll be a goal kick coming up. 28 shots for Stanford. Wow. Two for Oregon. Yeah, that's just unbelievable. I mean. And yet you can feel Oregon still in it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Oregon's very much so in this game, Ryan, as they have been resilient all game long, and they haven't given up yet, and Freeman's really been keeping them in this game with her great saves. one nothing the score in the 84th minute. Goal kick left short towards Soto, trying to dribble her way through the entire Stanford defense, but Stanford able to recover, take it away. It's going to be Stanford who takes the shot on goal. That was Angi who took the shot. And now it is going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Rucker. The throw in goes towards the edge of the area. Kostmeyer will leave it out of the goal line. It looked like it was a shot. It wasn't a good one. It went way wide of the net. Kostmeyer put herself through the spin cycle as the Freeman goal kick is intercepted and it's taken away by Ike who will take a wild shot once again and well seems like we're in a little bit of a rut yeah shots well wide and Leah Freeman goal kicks that go right back to the Cardinal Freeman will leave it short this time Anna Phillips will try to shoot it forward towards Zoe Hassenauer she heads it back to the back line of the Cardinal. Ajene rest pass now trying to press. Poor pass, but there was no assistance to rest pass to capitalize on it. But now it's Emperado who has it in the back line after a long ball from Stanford was off target. So he has an hour, has it on the edge of the attacking third. Dribbling away forward towards the edge of the box. Takes the shot deflected away by the Stanford defense as Alice Barbieri bodies through Angie as now it's Stanford out in front with Doms. And she's offside. Yeah, she was way offside on that one. Oregon caught a break there, Ryan, as they were just glad that she was offside on that one. Yeah, I was wondering how she got so far away from the rest of the defense, and then I saw the official with the flag in the air. She has pace, but she doesn't have that type of pace. She had at least 10 yards of separation from the nearest duck. Yeah, first time that Stanford's been offside this whole game, and Oregon's obviously had two, but yeah, I mean, way offsides. 
Now it's Anna Amparato on the far side, trying to dance, trying to work her way forward. And she makes a nice pass off to Ajane, rest pass. Rest pass working with Hassenauer. It's left off to the far side. Kess Elmore trying to keep it in bounds on that far sideline just on the edge of the attacking third, and she does. She's barreled over by a Cardinal, and Graham Abel is beside himself that no foul was called. Wow, and, no foul on that one either. And Alice Barbieri just got lucky because she took out a Cardinal. No foul was called on her. That's now here comes Doms for Stanford. All types of boo birds coming out from both teams, and it's Anna Phillips with a strong tackle to take down Doms. Now at the edge of the area, it's Ike who takes a wild shot that goes well wide of the near post. 87th minute, one nothing the score. Oregon seems like the momentum is mounting for them, but they might run out of time. Yeah, only three and a half minutes left in this game. As, as you mentioned, Ryan, Oregon's running out of time. They're going to have to find an answer sooner than later. They don't have much time left. Still trailing by one. Soto. We'll leave it forward after a very short goal kick. Barbieri battling for the ball, and she passed it just off of Ed Amparata, but it doesn't matter. A foul was called against the Cardinal. And Oregon is playing with a lot of pace. 88th minute now. Oregon has to capitalize on their next chance as Anna Phillips leaves the free kick forward towards Zoe Hassenauer in the attacking third. She makes the turn, bodied off of the ball, and that Barada collects the loose ball towards Ajane rest pass on the edge of the area. A strong touch. There's a lot of Cardinal there, and it will be Stanford who's able to grab the loose ball and try to shoot it forward towards Kostmeyer. There's a whole bunch of Ducks in the back line around her, and, well, four is greater than one, and the Ducks back line wins out. Now it's Bell Raleigh trying to shoot it forward. Chai Cortez is alone. Can she keep it in bounds? Yes, she does. In the attacking third, on the near side, just on the edge of the area, towards the top of the box. Cortez dancing, gets it out to Barbieri. Barbieri takes the shot. It's going to be wide. Well wide of the far post, the 88th minute attempt from Leche Barbieri. Yeah, good effort there from Barbieri. Wide right as Oregon's just running out of time here. Two minutes remaining. 89th minute now. Ducks trail 1-0. Oregon has had some chances here late in the second half. Can they get another one? Maya Doms will head it forward towards the back line of Oregon and out of bounds. Bell Raleigh leaving it off to Megan Rucker to throw it in. And Rucker is going to try to throw it in, but now the ref blows it dead, says that Rucker wasn't close enough to the referee, and that's going to take some precious time off the clock for Oregon as Rucker's throwing will now go to Ajane rest pass, and the pass is intercepted by Stanford for a second, but tapped away towards a duck. Now it's a still loose ball as Doms is able to corral it. Kostmeyer trying to leave it off to Angie, can't do it. Here comes rest pass. Trying to get it forward to Elmore. Kess Elmore in the attacking third. She's bodied off of the ball. And a foul is called Oregon with a free kick. Oregon has to hustle to it. 90th minute. 55 seconds left in the match. Yeah, just the Troy Soto just tripped. No one touched her. Uh, that one's never going to get called. I'm not sure if she meant to <laughs> flop or not, but she, she tripped on air. Cortez will take it. This one from about... 35 yards out, just inside of the attacking third. Cortez tries to leave it off towards the far post, headed towards the box. In the six yard box, Semperado fighting for it. Now towards the edge of the area as it's cleared away. Here comes Stanford trying to clear it out. 20 seconds left for the Ducks as it's cleared out right towards the halfway line. Oregon has to hurry. Cortez can't direct it properly. Still trying to dance with Kostmeyer. 13 seconds, Cortez all the way back to Freeman. Oregon has to hurry quick. Freeman with 10 seconds left, tries to shoot it towards the halfway line and that's gonna do it. Oregon, they had their chances and they had them late. Dramatic finish, but the number seven ranked Cardinal are gonna hold on at Pape Field as Oregon drops their third consecutive home game. Yeah, quite the game. You know, Oregon had plenty of chances Almost scored a goal in that last drive there, but at the end of the day, Stanford's offense was just too powerful, Ryan. 32 shots to Oregon's three, and that's the main storyline of this game is Stanford's offense. You can't say it didn't have its drama. There was certainly a lot of opportunities for Oregon, especially in the last 10 minutes. The Ducks 
they might not have had the shots, they might not have had them on goal, but it seemed like they were in the attacking third a lot more in the second half than they were in the first. I, Oregon, they weren't able to get it done, but outside of a six minute goal, they played even with the number seven team in the country. Yeah, they did. I mean, besides that, uh, as you mentioned, besides conceding that one goal in the sixth minute, they really did hold their own, and that's mostly because of Leah Freeman, you know. Great game for her. Eight saves on the night, you know. There's not much more you can ask playing against the number seven team in the nation. Stanford's just a really good team, and, you know, all credit to them. But, but you know, Freeman held her own. Leah Freeman with eight saves. She just let one pass her 32 shots for the Cardinal. Three for the Ducks. That's... And it's been the MO for Oregon all year, but that type of discrepancy is not going to get it done. Not at all, yeah. Oregon, you know, gave up too many sh or chances, and, you know, Stanford had a lot of shots, a lot of chances in this game, and that's what cost them in the end. They weren't able to find their rhythm defensively, and Stanford took advantage of that. Lumi Kostmeyer, the woman who was able to score the goal in the sixth minute for Stanford, and I, I think that when you look at this, this game and this match, Oregon played really, really well. But just a really nice play early in the game by Kosmeyer. That was the difference. Yep. Lots of chances there in this game so far for both teams. But in the second half, as you mentioned, Ryan, Oregon really did step it up, even though they were unable to find that equalizer. Oregon falls to five or to four, six, and five on the year. Stanford advances to 13, 2, and 1 on the season. Strong game from both squads, but it's hard to win in Pac-12 play, especially against ranked opponents. Oregon could not get it done tonight. They have another ranked matchup coming up this weekend. The number 25 ranked California Golden Bears are coming to town on Sunday. That game will be at noon. You can catch me on the call on 88.1 FM. For now... To everyone who made this broadcast possible, to Griffin Bowes back in the studio, to the Oregon Athletic Department here, uh, and SID Greg Walker, to my color man Jack MacArthur, I'm Ryan Milano. And on 88.1 in the Oregon live stream, let's send it back to our regularly scheduled programming.